Welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed all of the new things that you learned about building the team. Unit 2 was filled with all kinds of information about how to staff a company and how to hire the right employees for your organization. In this section about management, were you able to identify your own style? Do you have what it takes to be the leader of your own company? And in the section about conflict, did you think about how you would handle conflicts among employees in your own company? These are important issues, but staffing a company is not enough to create a successful business. All successful companies have a plan, specifically a business plan. A business plan identifies strategies for the company and attracts potential investors to help you grow your business. In Unit 3, you will learn how to write a business plan and the things you should and shouldn't do when writing your own plan. A business plan has eight sections. You will learn about each one and how to present your company in the best light. Be sure to pay particular attention to the sections on mission statements and the executive summary. They are very important to the plan and to the company's evolution. Once again, this unit is filled with many resources that will guide you through what it takes to write an effective business plan. Take notes and think about where the business plan fits into the entrepreneurial process. Remember to give yourself sufficient time to explore all of the course resources. Good luck, and I'll see you here again at the beginning of the next unit.